This is a 2023 GMC Canyon, and this is not my usual drive route at all. I am outside of Nashville, North Carolina as a guest of GMC to drive this new Canyon, and I am not alone. Next to me is Tyler Duffy of Gear Patrol, and together we are experiencing a brand new trim for this brand new third generation truck. That's right. This is the 2023 GMC Canyon AT4X, an elevated version of the AT4, which was already an elevated version of the GMC Canyon, but new for the third generation is that's no longer the case because every GMC Canyon is an elevated Canyon. If you compare this to a base level Colorado or the more base trim GMC Canyons from the second generation, Every canyon is two inches higher off the ground than it was before, but the AT4X is three inches higher off the ground than every other GMC canyon, at least from the second generation, or it's one inch higher than the others. But that is definitely not all. It has a lot of other proper off-road kit built into it, including one of my personal favorites, DSSV or spool valve shock absorbers. They work really well and they are a favorite of mine, but I'll go ahead and put a list of what the AT4X is so you get a better sense of what we're talking about. This is basically a top trim of the GMC Canyon, but also an off-roady version of the top trim. So kind of in a sense on equal footing with the Denali, but with a different taste to it. My name is Robin Warner, by the way, an experienced engineer and magazine editor, and yet again, I'm getting rained on. I review all kinds of cars from a $25,000 Ford Maverick to a $425,000 Rolls-Royce Cullinan. I'll happily jump into Honda Accords, BMW M3s, and Porsche 911 GT3s, and I have fun every time. Please subscribe and join me. I'll go ahead and put the base price of the GMC Canyon up on the screen so you can check that out. The base trim is called the Elevation and from there you go up and you keep going up quite a bit until you get to this AT4X trim. I'll go ahead and put that price up on the screen right now so you can see that. This is not a cheap truck, but do bear in mind this is a very capable not a cheap truck. Okay. With that, now's a good time for me to pull over and show you around and inside this truck in a bit more detail. But I should tell you, not this truck. Inside, the same color, but a different truck parked in a different spot. Well, here it is, the 2023 GMC Canyon AT4X, and this specific one is an Edition 1. A couple quick things to show you that it's an Edition 1. This Safari bar right here, with the front winch attached. Bead locking wheels, this hefty bar right here below the doors, and of course, an Edition 1 badge. But, Edition 1 or no, look at how serious the AT4X truck is. Look how much clearance you have between the top of your 33 inch mud terrain tires and the bottom of the wheel well. Look how much ground clearance you have. Look at that. I am a size 12 shoe standing up right there. I mean, that's just massive amounts of ground clearance right there. You've also got this nice loud and proud AT4X logo right on the door. And just like all the other canyons, the AT4X is crew cab and short bed only. Since we're here, I'll go ahead and put the dimensions on the screen for you to check that out and let you know that I have a lot more information in the description. Speaking of dimensions, this is a good place to tell you that you have pretty impressive approach, departure, and breakover angles as well. I'll go ahead and put those on the screen for you to check out. Hopefully, we'll get to exercise those in a little bit. Looking at the truck from the front, it definitely has a very purposeful, aggressive look. Aside from the safari bar and the winch, you've also got this light bar built in right here and this cool pattern built into the grill, the GMC Canyon grill here. Also, the way the lights are separated, you know, this top section here and then the main lights down below. And that's becoming a more popular way to design headlights these days. It's interesting to see this daytime running light running kind of the length 
and kind of connecting what's separated by bodywork. Let's take a quick look under the hood. And there is the longitudinally mounted turbocharged 2.7 liter four cylinder engine. To the left here, you have the battery hanging out here. And just in front of that is your windshield washer reservoir. Like I said, this is longitudinally mounted, meaning the engine is pointing that way fore aft. This is a inherently rear wheel drive based pickup truck. Also, that does allow pretty good weight distribution. The center of the front axle is right here. And as you can see, most of the engine is behind that. So that means most of the engine is between the axles, not in front of the front axle. That's nice. It's not as easy to tell in front, but in back, it's very easy to see that you have the Multimatic spool valve shocks. These are fantastic shock absorbers. These are just superior shock absorbers but they're also just expensive shock absorbers, which is why you don't see them everywhere. You can see the solid rear axle right there, but you can also see a pretty hefty skid guard underneath the gas tank right there. Speaking of, there's another skid plate down below in front, a nice and beefy one, of course. Also, just above that, we do have nice and healthy tow hooks on either side. Looking at the back of the truck, it looks like a pretty typical pickup truck. You do have a cover over the bed here. You can see how wet it really is right now. They are certainly not ashamed to tell you that it is a GMC Canyon right there. Another AT4X badge right there. You do have a nice and healthy trailer hitch right there. And beneath that, a full size spare in case you need it. Definitely nice. Also, pet peeve of mine, no worries here one single very real exhaust tip right there. And in fact, it's not in back, it's on the passenger side. Real quick, a quick look inside the truck bed of the AT4X. You know, it's pretty deep, it's just over five feet long, and there are a lot of different places to hook on, and you do get AC power if you need it as well. Considering how long and tall this truck is, the inside space isn't all that much actually, but also look how tall it is. The floor of the truck is like halfway up my thigh. I have to like climb into this truck. But before I do, I do want to show you that on both sides, you have these little levers right here. Pull on that, that releases the chair and you do have under seat storage. The AT4X also gets these snazzy red seat belts to go with this tricolor light red dark interior and you do get this nice red stitching mixed in throughout it is a nice touch i am 5 foot 11 or 181 centimeters tall and i have knee room i have knee room but not a lot to spare the seat bottoms are reasonably high so i do have decent thigh support and my knees are bent right around 90 degrees i could do a road trip back here but i'd want frequent stops on the plus side you do get a couple of usb ports right there and a center armrest with cup holders oh yeah what could be better okay to the front more of that three-tone look right here with the light the red stitching and the dark you do also have this like carbon fiber-esque trim right there which is a nice little touch usual controls right here along with two position seat memory right there you do have a couple controls right here, like trailer brake gain and some auxiliary buttons right here. The seat itself does have the usual controls here, but you do get lumbar support, which is nice. You do have both tilt and telescope adjusting. It is manually done right there. Nice little graphic when you get in the car. In case you forget what the brand is, it reminds you. This is a fully digital instrument cluster screen right next to a fully digital 11.3 inch center console touchscreen. The AT4X also has a head up display, dual zone climate control with heated and ventilated seats, a heated steering wheel, two USB ports right there, and a wireless charge pad right there. Push button start is right here. And here is the instrument cluster all lit up and you've got a lot of cool graphics that you can look at right here. You can see that we're not quite on level ground at the moment. By the way, I should say that the instrument cluster also is adjustable. You can go from here 
to a more minimal look, to this, to this, even to this. Pretty cool. And here is the 11.3 inch instrument cluster screen also lit up. Now, there's a lot of controls in this thing, a lot of cool stuff, but there is one thing I do want to show you. Go to camera and look at all these camera choices you have. How cool is that? Now, lots of cars have multiple cameras these days, but this is a new number right here to get this many, especially when you look at the under the vehicle stuff. These are my favorite right here, absolutely. Plus, if the cameras get dirty or muddy or whatever, all you gotta do is press this button right here. And look at that, clean again. Although still wet given the conditions. This being the AT4X, we also have rear diff lock, front diff lock, along with a lot of other us more usual controls right here. Beneath that, we do have our four wheel drive system options right here. And if you spin the same dial, that's how you get drive modes. You get normal, off-road, tow haul, terrain, Baja, and back to normal. Beneath that, we do have a very standard looking Prindle right there and an electric parking brake right there, a couple of cup holders and lower center console storage right there. And this tray is removable for a pretty deep space. Looking up, we do have lights and all that kind of stuff, and also a moonroof with a manual privacy panel right there. Lovely. Much like the Chevrolet Silverado ZR2 I drove last year, this is a very capable pickup truck. That also brings a lot of luxury as well. And I have to say, with this red and the polished metal and the white here, fair amount of style too. And with all these drive modes and everything else, I'm definitely excited to get back to the drive, so let's do that. All right, let's dig into the powertrain. GMC Canyons are much simplified compared to when we first saw them back in 2004. There is one body configuration, that is the Crew Max cab with a short bed, and there is only one engine, a turbocharged 2.7 liter inline four cylinder, but it is a very good engine that pumps out 310 horsepower and 430 pound-feet of torque. That is a big torque number for this engine. Certainly the bore and stroke plays a role there. I'll go ahead and put those up on the screen right now so you can see that. It's a long stroke and that's what keeps the revs down but gives you a little bit more torque. And yeah, I'm a little bit surprised as well. You usually see a little bit more of parity between horsepower and torque when you have a turbocharged engine but this was clearly tuned for a truck and that plays a role. Tied to that engine is only one transmission and it is an eight speed automatic transmission. Good news, it is a good eight speed automatic transmission. Shifts smoothly when you need to, shifts quickly when you need to, gets the work done. Also provides a nice and wide ratio range and that gives you good acceleration off the line but nice and low cruising speeds on the interstate. Where you get some variety in the powertrain is in the drivetrain. The elevation trim, the base trim, can be had in either two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, but every other trim, including this AT4X, of course, is four-wheel drive only, but it's four-wheel drive. You do have a transfer case, so you can have it in two-wheel drive mode, or four auto, or four high, or yes, four low. One of the things that you saw as an option for this AT4X is mud terrain tires, and those are very helpful when you're in weather like this and going off road where it gets very muddy and very slippery. But mud terrain tires are not very good for fuel economy. Neither is lifting the truck up an extra inch, which is already lifted two inches higher than second generation base canyons. So fuel economy really, you have to say, is only so-so. I'm gonna go ahead and put that up on the screen right now. Now the AT4X is the worst. So if you get a two wheel drive elevation that does improve a little bit, but still, these are not the best fuel economy numbers you'll see in mid-sized trucks. GMC is clearly going in a certain direction with the GMC, which has a lot of positives, but fuel economy is not one of them. But while fuel economy is important, it's not nearly as much fun as accelerating. Of course I had to test that, especially when you have 430 pound-feet of torque to play with. Let me show you that now. 
All right, everybody, time for a quick acceleration test. It is slightly uphill, unfortunately, but it is nice and straight. And we've got all wheel drive, so I'm not gonna worry about trash control or anything like that. And we're just gonna be in the normal driving mode. Let's we'll see how it goes. Okay, coming to a complete stop. Hard on the throttle. Come on. <laughs> okay, kind of a soft start, but then once we get moving, yeah, this is stout acceleration here. We're going uphill and we're getting good quick shifts and good acceleration here. Yeah, that that's respectable. The launch was a little soft, but then once we got moving, we got moving pretty well. Also, that's a pretty tall first gear, especially considering we have an eight-speed transmission. But that one-two shift, second gear, was a nice and close ratio, so that kept the acceleration going pretty darn well. So overall, totally respectable acceleration from this turbocharged 2.7 liter, 310 horsepower, 430 pound-feet of torque. On this special trip with GMC, I did not get much chance to really test the handling of this truck. I did get a chance to go through some corners, however, on our way to different locations, and you know, it's perfectly competent. These tires, again, they're off-road friendly. It's not like you're gonna get a ton of grip on road. That said, wet weather traction is A-OK. -okay. It's completely sure-footed there. You've got a nice and rigid body to work with, good body control. These DSSV shocks do a fantastic job to just kind of work well everywhere. So you feel that when you're just cruising down the road or going through some corners more quickly. But while I didn't get a chance to really test the handling, I definitely did get a chance to test the off-roading a bit in a truck like this. How could you not? Let me show you that right now. Okay, time for a bit of off-roading, a bit more off-roading. First time of me behind the wheel. I've already experienced it from the passenger seat and so far it's showing to be quite capable. But now I get to see how it actually feels while being quite capable. Okay, so we are in the off-road driving mode. We are in four high and we are just going through this narrow one lane pass. And with all the ground clearance we have and the suspension travel, this has really been no issue at all. These mud train tires have proven very good, very grippy, very sure-footed for this work. And the DSSV shocks, the Multimatic spool valve shocks are fantastic. I highly recommend these things. They're just great, great pieces of kit. Got a nice little puddle to wade through here. Now there were sections earlier where we were in four low and with the torque multiplication there, we gobs and gobs of torque. I mean, 430 pound feet is already a nice and stout number, but when you go into four low, yeah, it just makes it really good. But even in four high, the eight speed automatic gives us plenty of ratio range to work with here. So it's easy to have good modulation of the throttle without having to, you know, have big stabs of the gas or anything and keep things pretty smooth to help avoid any bigger jerks but yeah this is a pretty muddy gnarly spot we're in but it's easy work for this canyon at4x okay we're about to go through something lovingly called the mud pit i think it'll be pretty obvious why in just a moment for this specific exercise i have this thing fully off-roaded up. I am in terrain mode, I am in four low, and I have both the front and rear diffs locked. The point is to be able to maximize traction through this because this is a really loose surface we're going through and it looks a little bumpy too. But anyway, let's give it a shot. Oh, and I should mention, I have one pedal drive while I'm doing this so I don't have to touch the brakes. Ironic. Here we go. Oh, 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 nice one, nice one, truck. And we got to keep going. All right, we made it. Okay, there you go. You can get through mud pits in a GMC Canyon AT4X. So we've gone through quite a few narrow passages, gone over a bunch of rocks a bunch of big dips and jumps and some crossovers baked into this muddy trail gone through lots of mud 
and the canyon has proved very sure-footed through all of it. It is very much a capable off-roading truck and probably would have to get a bit more serious than this to really stretch its limits. So yeah, if you're into off-roading, this is definitely going to bring a lot of fun for you. Yeah. Ugh. Or jostled kidneys. Yeah, pretty good. Now, even the most hardcore off-roader is still going to have to drive on the road sometimes, and you're going to want to know, how is the ride in this thing? Is it comfortable? Well, the answer is very. Again, these are fantastic shock absorbers. That helps, but also, you've got plenty of sidewall to work with with these mud terrain tires, tons of suspension travel and ground clearance, and generally a fairly soft tune anyway, so this rides over bumps and heaves in the road with no trouble at all. I mean, you saw in the off-road test, we handled some pretty big bumps. If it can handle that, a couple of potholes in the road are A-OK. -okay. And you also have nice and comfortable seats, and this is not a cheap truck, but you do have a lot of technology and a lot of comforts in here. Heated seats, ventilated seats, wireless charging pad, nice and big center console touchscreen to use with a lot of options. And one of those options, by the way, is Google Assistant, which is a fantastic thing to include in vehicles. So yeah, this is actually a very pleasant car to cruise in. And that's true on roads like this or on the interstate. I did get a chance to test that there. Let me show you that. Okay, time for a quick stint on the interstate. See how this Canyon AT4X feels on the open road. Okay, cruise control is set. We're going 75 miles an hour to go with traffic. At that speed, wind and road noise, you know, it's okay considering everything, but the tires are a little bit louder than your average all-season tire, and maybe even a tiny touch louder than an all-terrain tire. I was truly impressed with how much grip we had when we were going off-road with those tires, but on the road, you're just going to be a little bit louder and rolling resistance is going to be a little bit higher so you can feel that. Wind noise as well is actually pretty good considering that this is a mid-sized truck. I'm pretty happy with that. We do have a lot of air to push out of the way and a lot of air that goes underneath the truck as well and considering those things they actually did a really good job to isolate the cabin from wind noise. and. That's including a pretty steady amount of rain as well. And even then, the cabin is really pretty decent. Road noise is about what I expected, but I did not expect very much because of these tires. On the plus side, you do have a very commanding view of the road. You are way high up after all. So you are looking down on the vast majority of traffic, and that includes a lot of car-based crossover SUVs that are on the road with us. These seats are comfortable for longer hauls as well. And as I mentioned, we do have a lot of technology here to keep you entertained and comfortable. So as long as the fuel bill doesn't bother you, this would be a great truck to road trip in. Yes, you can tow in the GMC Canyon, and the numbers are actually pretty darn good. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the range of what you can tow up there as you can see. Not this trim, but some GMC Canyons can tow up to 7,700 pounds, which is a nice and healthy number. That gets you into most all of your recreational toys that I can think of at least. Pretty darn big boat, pretty darn big trailer, obviously lots of snowmobiles or jet skis or motocross bikes or whatever. So what do we think of this 2023 GMC Canyon AT4X. I have to say, I really respect that GMC has taken a stance and gone in a direction with its midsize pickup truck. Every single one of the GMC Canyons are pretty darn off-road capable if you look at the way they've been built in. And that is from the frame up. It is a good, strong structure. And then you've got a lot of suspension travel, a lot of ground clearance, and that is every single trim. This AT4X takes it to another level and really gives you capability and reassurance with all the skid plates and everything else and the built up suspension components that you can take it off road and not worry you won't be able to get home. However, as you can tell, these tires do make it a little bit louder on the road, especially on the interstate. Also, fuel economy isn't superb, of course. And 
it's actually not super big inside here. Considering that this is a 210 inch long, well, longer than 210 inches truck, the interior space is a little bit more cramped than I would have hoped for. So this truck really does come down to your priorities. If you're interested in something that gives you some true off-road chops and also keeps you comfortable, as long as you don't mind paying for it, this is a really, really compelling choice. I'm Robin Warner, thank you for watching. And if you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you showed me by giving it a thumbs up. Doing so helps me out a lot and I'd really appreciate it. If you're interested in something like this, I also got a chance to walk through with an expert on the interior to learn a little bit more about that. And from there, I've reviewed a whole bunch of stuff by now. Something's gonna pop up on the screen next to me. Hopefully it's something you're interested in. And if you do watch it, I definitely hope you like it. Okay, goodbye for now.